Hey everybody, um, today we are looking at the One More Comfo Buds. This is a new product from One More. Taking a look at, at this little uh, kind of ovalish shaped, jelly bean shaped case. Very small, stylish. Let's look at the back here. It says, if we can focus in on that. One more, hear more. I don't know why it just does that. It like automatically goes towards the text. It's something in the programming of the camera. I don't get that, but anyway, one more. It's a very shiny kind of fingerprint magnet <laughs> case, but it's a nice little case. It's easy to travel with. It's got USB-C, a uh, little stylish looking case. Open it up inside, and there we see the Comfo Buds. They've got cool little lights on the end of the tips right there. Shines red and blue when it's pairing. There's a microphone down at the end there too. I'll put this down for now. Just take a quick tour of the Comfo Buds. Yes, it is a pod style made popular by Apple. There's a touch sensor right there, which is also a slick a screen, so I'm assuming these are semi-open. I don't know 100% for sure. Something different that all the other pods that I threw away. <laughs> I, really, I don't usually use pods. I, I did do a review on one other type of pod because I, I like the way they sounded. And they had a charging case, which was an uh, interesting feature. Now, these have this nice rubber, so they're kind of in between the pod and a wireless earbud. Nice red, hint of red there. There you see the left and right indicators, and if I can put, bring this over to the corner there, you see this part right here is a light sensor that senses when they're in your ears and out. So if you want to pause the music, just take them out of your ear. And uh, that's really cool that it does that. So it's got a lot of cool features for a pod style earphone. Um, and it's stylish looking. And it's got the cool lights and it's got a microphone at the bottom and we'll get into that in just a little bit but it does have some really good call quality and this rubber thing is a game changer it seals in the ear better uh, which is one of the reasons why i liked these and i don't usually i'm not a pod user per se i've tried probably about a dozen pods uh i've tried the apples i have not reviewed the apples because i didn't have long enough time with the apples uh, but you know, for the price, I wouldn't even bother to review those because they're just way too expensive for what you get. Um, the uh, one more Comfort Buds True Wireless Headphones. Looking at the box here, we have a powerful 13.4 millimeter dynamic driver, semi in ear. That's that rubber piece. It actually does more than just hang on your ear. It actually goes into the air canal. Dual mic, environmental noise cancellation. That's for the phone calls. Calls are crystal clear. Even with background noise, like a fan or something, they sounded really, really clear. Proximity sensor, we just showed that. And IPX5, remember water resistance does not mean waterproof. Inside the box, you get a rubberized charging cable. USB-C. Always remember, if you're not sure of the quality of your cable, um, go with the manufacturer's cable. I know I have a good quality one, so usually I just put those aside. Uh, but there are some questionable, you know, quality ones sold aftermarket online, and you don't want to ruin your product. So go with the manufacturers if you're not sure. There's that one more sticker with the bear and the headphones that I actually own, the classics. A registration. QR code, big thick manual that they include with all this stuff. Always good documentation with one more. And that's basically what's inside the box. And like I said, you, you get that nice driver and everything. It has Bluetooth 5.0, a range of 10 meters. Uh, battery life is four hours for the unit. And then with the charging case, you get 18 hours in total. So that's another 14 hours with the case. Comfort wise, probably the most comfortable ones I've used. Um, this rubber thing here provided a decent seal, which is one of the reasons why I actually like these, and I'm not really, you know, I don't usually use pods that much, and 
It's just the shape, and I don't like the things. Just like earbuds, I don't use earbuds too much either. You don't see me do too many earbud reviews because I don't like the way they just fit on the outside of the ear. These luckily sealed, and they provide a nice rubber seal with this silicone rubber piece here. And they were comfortable. And if you do get a good seal, you should hear that nice bass. Uh, it has a rapid bass. There's some good sub bass there, depending on what type of music you're listening to. Of course, the recording always has, um, you know, the some of the effect will be lost with a poorer recording. Um, and also you get more bass if you listen to like YouTube or something like that that's overly bass boosted. Uh, and it depends. Some people like that. But bass-wise, some good bass, uh, some nice sub-bass rubble. Uh, kind of on the balance side bass-wise, uh, but it can get deeper uh, depending on, on the music that you're listening to. Then we get into the mids, and the mids sound very clear. Um, they're very forward and clear. It sounded like there was some good sound stages, some openness to it, so, you know, vocals and everything sound really great. And then we get to the highs, and they do have some sparkle to them, but they're not annoying. They don't have an overextension in any way whatsoever. They're leaning a little more toward the polite side, but they do have some decent details overall from the bass to the highs with these. And decent, you know, imaging and sound stage uh, for a pod. Uh, it was actually more than what I was expecting. Comfort-wise, far better than what I was expecting for a pod. So overall, I can definitely see people, you know, that are looking... Uh, did I, I didn't mention that these are like $49. These are under 50 bucks, and probably like $49.99. I'm uh, going to give you guys a 10% off code at the one more store for these. Uh, yeah, anybody looking into this type of, type of true wireless, the pod style true wireless, this is a really good one to get. This is a good Apple alternative. It's a heck of a lot cheaper. It's got a lot of amazing features. And it also has this rubber thing, which you don't usually get with pod style to give it even better fit. That's, that's probably the name Comfort Buds because Comfort is probably like the, the top thing you're going to think about when you think about Comfort Buds. And they sound good. They have a nice, fun sound. Uh, it uses the AAC code, so we're not going to get nitpicky about the sound. The sound was better than expected, that's for sure. That big old dynamic driver can deliver some really good bass. Uh, all of this is just going to depend on the seal. Remember, it fits kind of on the outside, but this also goes on the inside toward the ear canal. And everybody's ear is different. Even your other ear is different from one ear is different from the other. So, can I recommend these? Yes, I can definitely recommend these. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a video. Magnetic case, as you usually get with True Wireless, nice magnetic case. They're very portable. They're comfortable. They sound good. If you want a pod style earphone, I can definitely recommend these. Uh, I apologize, my voice. My allergies are bothering me, and my voice is cracking up a little bit. Um, yeah, one more comfort buds. Uh, once again, uh, I hope that this was informative, and I'll see you somewhere out on the internet. Thank you so much.